Basic Agriculture. Chapter 6. Entrepreneurial Skill Development. Learning Objectives. After studying this chapter, students will be able to acquire basic knowledge on rearing of honeybees, silkworms, lac, fish and ornamental fish farming. Learn mushroom growing, preparation of terrarium and several value-added products from horticultural crops. Learn importance of biogas and use of biofertilizers. Start agribusiness on beekeeping, sericulture, pisciculture, mushroom farming and processing of horticultural crops. Introduction. Agriculture offers several programs, which can help the leaners in the development of several skills to establish themselves as a successful entrepreneur in the life. Of the several such skills, apiculture, sericulture, lac culture, pisciculture, mushroom farming, processing of horticulture crops etc. are now emerging fields. Similarly in the cities, ornamental fish culture and terrarium development are achieving new heights among the people. Further, in villages, there is an increasing demand for biogas plants as the fuel wood is becoming scarce in every rural part of India. Hence, it becomes important to impart basic knowledge about these skills so that our students take them as one of their business in the future life. In this chapter, a brief introductory information has been given on these issues. Apiculture, beekeeping. The process of rearing of honeybees for the production of honey, bee wax and royal jelly is known as beekeeping. The honeybee rearing is household practice in India. A location where bees are kept is called an apiary or bee yard. Honeybees and their usefulness are known to man from prehistoric times. The modern beekeeping became possible after the discovery of movable frame hive in 1851 by Rudd. L. L. Langshot. In India, beekeeping was introduced in 1882 in Bengal. Pre Ted. Newton introduced beekeeping to South India in 1911. Apus mellifera, Italian honeybee, was first introduced in 1962 at Nagrota, Kangra, Himachal Pradesh. At present, this bee species is being used extensively for extraction of honey in India. 168. Apiculture is a highly specialized skill. It requires knowledge about bee species, the instruments, rearing of bees, management of bees, extraction of honey, cleaning of honey, etc. Honey is the major product of apiculture industry, which is a sweet, viscous fluid, produced by honeybees which is collected as nectar from nectaries at base of flower. Usually, honeybees collect nectar from the flowers of different plant species. In general, honeybees visit yellow flowers the first, followed by white, blue but they visit red flowers at the last. Usually, bees remain active during daytime, although they do not sleep during night. Workers can take flight for about 3 to 4 kilometers for the collection of nectar. This nectar is deposited in the frame specially designed for its deposition. This nectar is then extracted by the honey processor. Bee species. There are five important species of honeybees as follows. Apus dorsata, the rock bee. Apus serena indica, the Indian honeybee. Apus floria, the little bee. Apus mellifera, the European or Italian bee. Melipona iridipenis, Dana bee, Melifora stingless bee. Honeybee castes. Every honeybee colony comprises of a single queen, a few hundred drones and several thousand worker castes of honeybees. Queen is a fertile, functional female, worker is a sterile female and the drone is a male insect. 1. Duties of a queen, the only individual, which lays eggs in a colony, mother of all bees. 2. Duties of a drone, their important duty is to fertilize the queen. 3. Duties of a worker, first three weeks household duty and rest of the life outdoor duty i.e. collection of nectar. Sex differentiation in bees. Fertilized. Egg. Queen. Worker drone. Unfertilized. Light feeding heavy feeding plus royal jelly. 169. Basic agriculture. Bee behavior. Swarming. Swarming is a natural method of colony multiplication in which a part of the colony migrates to a new site to make a new colony. Swarming occurs when a colony builds up a considerable strength or when the queen substance secreted by queen falls below a certain level. Swarming is a potent instinct in bees for dispersal and perpetuation of the species. Supersider. When an old queen is unable to lay sufficient eggs, she will be replaced or superseded by supersider queen. Emergency queen. In the event of death of the queen, the eggs in worker cells are selected and the cell extended like a queen cell. Bee products 1. Honey 2. Bees wax 3. Royal jelly 4. Bee venom 5. Propolis 6. Pollen. Lac culture. Lac is a recent exudation from the body of female scale insect. Since Vedic period, it has been in use in India. The English word lac synonyms lac in Hindi, which itself is derivative of Sanskrit word lakshmi meaning a lakh a hundred thousand. It would appear that Vedic people knew that the lac is obtained from numerous insects and must also know the biological and commercial aspects of lac industry. With increasing universal environment awareness, the importance of lac has assumed special relevance in the present age, being an eco-friendly, biodegradable and self-sustaining natural material. Lac insect the first scientific name given to it was Tasharia lacca following the name of French missionary father, Tasharia. It was later changed to Laxifer lacca Lac insect belongs to superfamily Cocoidea, which includes all scale insects, phylum Arthropoda, class insector and order is Hemiptera. There are six genera of lac insects, out of which only five secrete lac, and the commonest and most widely occurring species of lac insect in India is Laxifer lacca, which produces the bulk of commercial lac. Lac is currently produced in India, Myanmar, Thailand, Malaya, Lao and Yuan province of China. India has prime position in relation to lac production. Over 90% of Indian lac produced comes from the states of Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Eastern Maharashtra and Northern Arisa. 170. Life cube lac insect is a minute crawling scale insect, which inserts its sectorial proboscis into plant tissue, sucks juice, grows and secretes resinous lac from the body. Its own body ultimately gets covered with lac in the so-called cell. Lac is secreted by insects for protection from predators and it completes its life cycle in six months. Lac nymph. Adult lac insect. Lac encrusted twig. Host plants lac insects thrive on twigs of certain plant species, suck the plant sap, and grow all the secreting lac resin from their bodies. These plants are called host plants and commonly used host plants are beauty monosperma, palas, zizifus spp, bade, acacia kechu, khair, acacia arabica, babul, acacia auriculiformis, akashmani, shoria talura, sal grown in mysore, kajanus kajan, pigeon pea or arhar etc. In India, lac insect is known to have two distinct strains, kusum, and rangini. Lac cultivation is done by putting brood lac on suitably prepared specific host plants. The brood lac contains gravid females, which are about to lay eggs to give birth to young larvae. After emergence from mother cells, the young larvae settle on fresh twigs of host plants, suck the plant sap and grow to form encrustations. Harvesting Harvesting is the process of collection of ready lac from host trees. It is done by cutting the lac encrusted twigs when crop is mature. It is of two types, i.e. immature harvesting, the lac is collected before swarming, and lac thus obtained is known as, ari lac, and the drawbacks of immature harvesting is lac insects may be damaged at the time of harvesting and in mature harvesting, lac is collected after swarming. The lac obtained is known as mature lac. The mean lac productivity, per tree and per unit area, is 10 to 15 kg per tree. Lac products and their use lac dye. Lac dye is a mixture of anthroconoid derivatives and it is traditionally used to color woolen silk. Lac wax. Lac wax is a mixture of high alcohols, acids and their esters. It is used in polish applied on shoes, flow, automobiles, food and confectionery, lipsticks. 171. Basic agriculture. Shellac. Shellac is a natural gum resin, a nature's gift to the mankind and it is non-toxic, physiologically harmless and edible resin. 
It is used in fruit coatings. Jewelers and goldsmiths use lac as a filling material in the hollows in ornaments and also used commonly as sealing bags. Sericulture. Sericulture is the rearing of silkworms for the production of silk. The silkworm love feed on the mulberry leaves and then they spin their silken cocoons on the twigs. This process is achieved by secretion of fluid from its structural glands, resulting in the fiber of the cocoon. The silk is a continuous filament comprising fibroin protein, secreted from two salivary glands in the head of each larva, and a gum called sericin, which cements the filaments and forms the silk. Bombix mori is the most widely used silkworm. Sericulture has become an important industrial business in Brazil, China, France, and India, etc. Stages of production. The silk moth lays thousands of eggs. The silk moth eggs hatch to form larvae, known as silkworms. The larvae feed on the mulberry leaves. Well grown and molted silkworm weaves a net to hold itself. It swings its head from side to side silk. The silk solidifies when it contacts the air. The silkworm spins approximately one mile of filament and completely encloses itself in a cocoon in about two or three days. The silk is obtained by brushing the undamaged cocoon to find the outside end of the filament. The silk filaments are then wound on a reel. One cocoon contains approximately 1,000 yards of silk filament. Pisciculture. Pisciculture is a scientific technology for rearing of fishes for getting maximum fish production from a pond or a tank through utilization of available food organisms supplemented by artificial feeding. Major species selected for pisciculture are cattle, rohu, mrigal, and exotic or common calves. The basic requirements for pisciculture is pond, tank, liming and manuring, fish culture, fish food. Points to be considered during pisciculture 1. Location of pond, soil should be water retentive, availability of assured water supply in the area, which is not prone to flood, is selected. 172. 2. Pond management, before stocking, clear the pond of unwanted weeds and fish either by manual using fishnets. Alkaline nature to be maintained by adequately adding lime in the ponds. Fertilize the ponds properly to improve the natural availability of phytoplantation. 3. Stocking. Ponds are ready for stocking after 15 days of application of fertilizer. 4. Harvesting. Generally done at the end of one year, when fish attain a weight of 750 gm to 1.25 kg. Mushroom culture. Mushrooms are most important fungi used as a source of human food. They are a rich source of nutrition. While more than 2,000 species of fungi are edible but only 5 to 6 have been commercially exploited the world over. In India, only three mushroom types, white button mushroom, agaricus bisporus, oyster mushroom, pleurotus spp, and paddy straw mushroom, volvariella spp, are being cultivated commercially. Button mushroom comprises more than 90% of India's total mushroom production. All the three cultivated mushrooms not only differ in their shape, size, color and biochemical composition, but they show variations in their requirement for growth medium, substrate, temperature, and other physical factors. Cultivation spawn. Mushroom spawn is technically equivalent to seed of a plant, although, in reality, it is a pure mushroom mycelium, vegetative growth, growing on a sterilized grain medium. The grain medium is prepared from boiled grains of cereal or millet-like wheat, bajra, jwar and rye mixed with chalk powder and gypsum. The medium is sterilized after filling in heat-resistant glass bottles or polypropylene bags at 121 degrees Celsius and inoculated with pure culture of Abyss porous. The medium soon gets impregnated with mushroom mycelium if incubated at 25 degrees Celsius and is ready for use in 2 to 3 weeks. Compost. The substrate used for button mushroom is a partially decomposed organic matter prepared under aerobic conditions and is generally termed as compost. In India, straw of wheat or paddy have generally replaced horse manure as the base material for mushroom compost. Oyster mushroom. Shiitake. Gurmanet ion. Mushroom. Spores. Machio mycelium. Figure 2. Life cycle of mushrooms in nature. Fusion of comfort eyeball hyphae. 173. Basic agriculture. Spawning in spawn run, the compost is filled in trays, or in poly bags, after mixing the spawn through compost at 0.5%. The spawn beds are kept covered with formalin dipped paper sheets or by closing the mouth of the bags. The beds, if incubated at 24 degrees Celsius, with relative humidity maintained between 80 to 85 percent, get fully impregnated with mushroom mycelium, and when the spawn run is completed, in 2 minus 3 weeks, the compost turns light brown from deep brown and is ready for casing. A mushroom growing unit. Casing and case run. The spawn run beds are then covered by 1 to 2 thick layer of casing material, which is necessary to initiate fruiting. Casing material should have the characteristics like poor in nutrient, good water holding capacity, but a texture permitting good aeration and a pH of 7 to 7.5. Harvesting and post harvest management of mushrooms. Harvesting of mushrooms at optimum stage of maturity is of great importance. Harvesting of endomature or over mature fruit bodies results in poor texture, flavor, and immediate degradation. Mushroom pin heads start appearing after 7 to 10 days. Harvesting white button mushroom, they should be harvested when their cap size is 30 to 45 mm in diameter or when their cap diameter is twice the length of stem. Pre harvest spraying of 2% ascorbic acid improves their color by inhibiting the polyphenol oxidase activity. Oyster mushroom, these are harvested when their fruit bodies have curled under edges with well formed gills, wrinkled stage of umbrella, because fully mature fruit bodies are fragile and difficult to handle. Paddy straw mushroom, these are harvested at button or excise stage. The deterioration is less in the mushrooms harvested at excise stage because their polyphenol oxidase activity is slow. Post harvest management pre cooling, although mushrooms are grown at lower temperature, even then they should be pre cooled immediately after harvesting to their optimum storage. Aperture covered with transparent plast IC sheet 4.00 times 6.00 times 2.50 meters. Door. Slat T edge shelf for mushroom bag set of shelves. Distance from FLU 45 cm. 45 cm. Went eyelet ion opening. 174. Temperature 5 degrees Celsius to check the rate of high respiration and changes taking place at ambient room temperatures. Sorting. Sorting is done to remove undesirable fruiting bodies in the produce like discolored, blemishes, and misshapen mushrooms are discarded by sorting. Dipping treatments, to maintain whiteness, dipping of mushrooms in dilute solution of hydrogen peroxide, 1, 3, for half an hour and then steeping in 0.25% citric acid solution gives significant effect. Packaging, properly washed mushrooms are packed in suitable containers. Since, mushrooms are very sensitive to desiccation and rot, these are usually packed in polyethylene bags of 200 to 500 G capacities, 0.5% ventilation is generally recommended for refrigerated storage, whereas for local markets, non-perforated bags should be used. For distant markets, polystyrene or fiber board ponets over wrapped with partially permeable polyvinyl chloride, PVC, or polyacetate films packing material is recommended. Transportation. Mushrooms being highly perishable and having a high rate of respiration, transportation in refrigerated vans is recommended for distant markets. Storage. Mushrooms cannot be stored for more than 24 hours at room temperature or 1 to 2 weeks in refrigerated condition. During storage, there is decline in total sugars, soluble proteins and total phenol content, by polyphenol oxidase activity enhancers. These changes are aggravated with increase in storage temperature. A temperature of 5 degrees Celsius along with 85 to 90 percent relative humidity is generally recommended for their storage. Processing. Pickling and sun drying are economically viable methods of preserving mushrooms. However, freezing and freeze drying give them an excellent quality. They can be used commercially for export market.
Pickling and lactic acid fermentation. Fermentation is a process of anaerobic or partial anaerobic oxidation of carbohydrates. During fermentation, sufficient quantity of lactic acid is produced to prevent the product from further spoilage during storage. Pickle, chutney and ketchup are products having a minimum of 6 months storage life at ambient temperature. Biogas, B-I-O-F-E-R-T-I-L-I-Z-E-R and sanitation. Biogas, biogas is a fuel, which is produced from the breakdown of organic matter. These fossil fuels are being continuously used to a large extent because this is non-renewable energy resource. This is produced when bacteria decompose organic materials such as garbage and sewage, especially in the absence of oxygen. Biogas is a mixture of about 175. Basic agriculture 60% methane and 40% carbon dioxide. Methane is the main component of natural gas. It is relatively clean burning, colorless, and odorless. This gas can be captured and burned for cooking and heating. This is already being done on a large scale in some countries of the world. Farms that produce a lot of manure, such as hog and dairy farms, can use biogas generators to produce methane. A sketch of biogas plants. Advantages of biogas. Biogas-powered electricity construction is quick, easy and low-cost. Biogas is a renewable resource. Methane is going to be produced by decomposition. Methane is also an important greenhouse gas and is a major contributor to the global warming problem. Biogas provides an excellent source of energy that is helpful to the environment. Residue from the burning of biogas, called activated sludge, can be dried and used as fertilizer. Biofertilizers Biofertilizers are defined as products containing living cells or latent cells of efficient strains of microorganisms that help crop plants uptake of nutrients by their interactions in the rhizosphere when applied through seed or soil. Use of biofertilizers is one of the important components of integrated nutrient management, as they are cost-effective and renewable source of plant nutrients to supplement the chemical fertilizer for sustainable agriculture. Several microorganisms and their association with crop plants are being exploited in the production of biofertilizers. Nitrogen fixers. Free living aerobic, azotobacter, bajerinkia, anabina anaerobic, clostridium faltative anaerobic. Inlet. Gas pipe. Removable manhole cover sealed with clay. Loose cover. Outlet pipe slurry. 1000 mm max. Gas displacement tank. 176. Symbiotic, rhizobium, frankia, anabina azocli. Associative symbiotic, asospirillum. Endophytic, gluconistobacter burkholdria. Phosphorus solubilizers. Bacteria, Bacillus megatherium var. Phosphaticum, B. subtilis, B. circulans, pseudomonas striata. Fungi, Penicillium sp. Aspergillus avamori. Importance of biofertilizers. Supplement fertilizer supplies for meeting the nutrient needs of crops. Add 20 to 200 kg N per hectare, by fixation, under optimum conditions and solubilize, mobilize 30 to 50 kg phosphorus per hectare. They liberate growth promoting substances and vitamins which help to maintain soil fertility. They suppress the incidence of pathogens and control diseases. Increase the crop yield by 10 to 50 percent. Cheaper, pollution free and based on renewable energy sources. They improve soil physical properties, tilt and soil health. 1. Rhizobium Rhizobium is a soil bacteria, which lives freely in soil and in the root region of both leguminous and non-leguminous plants. However, they enter into symbiosis only with leguminous plants, by infesting their roots and forming nodules on them. Non-legume nodulated by Rhizobia is or Parasponia sp. Legume plants fix and utilize this N by working symbiotically with Rhizobium in nodules on their roots. 2. Azotobacter It is a free-living N. 2. Fixer The cells are not present on the rhizoplane, but are abundant in the rhizosphere region. 3. Mycorrhizae Mycorrhiza, fungus root, is the mutualistic association between plant roots and fungal mycelia. Frank, 1885, gave the name, Mycorrhiza, to the peculiar association between tree roots and ectomycorrhizal fungi, 95% of the plant species form Mycorrhizae. Mycorrhizal fungi are the key components of the rhizosphere are considered to have important roles in natural and managed ecosystems. Types of Mycorrhiza 1. Ectomycorrhiza, the fungal hyphae form a mantle both outside the root and within the root in the intercellular spaces of the epidermis and cortex. 177. Basic Agriculture. Ectomycorrhizae are common on trees, including members of the family Spinaceae, pine, fir, spruce, larch, semlock, fagaceae, willow, poplar, chestnut, betulaceae, birch, alder, salicaceae, willow, poplar, and myrtaceae, eucalyptus. 2. Endomycorrhizae, the most common mycorrhizal fungi and these fungi produce an internal network of hyphae between cortical cells that extends out into the soil, where the hyphae absorb mineral salts and water for example, ericoid mycorrhiza, arbuscular mycorrhiza. Processing of horticultural products. India is the second largest producer of fruits and vegetables in the world. However, about 30-40% to 40 of this produce is lost due to improper poster weight handling. Moreover, several fruits and vegetables are seasonal in nature, which results in price fluctuations, thereby growers get low price of their produce. Therefore, to prevent losses, and avoid glut of fruits in the season, processing of fruits into stable value-added and processed products is required. Different value-added products of fruits. Fruit beverages, fruit juices are rich sources of vitamins, particularly vitamin C and minerals. These are easily digestible, highly refreshing and invigorating, thirst quenches and far superior to most aerated drinks, which have practically no food value. They are beneficial against a number of ailments and tonics for heart and brain and serve as cold drinks in hot summer. Fruit juices are preserved in different forms such as pure juices, squashes, cordials, and fermented juices etc. These are broadly classified as under. Pure fruit juice, this is the natural, unfermented juice processed out of the fruit and remains practically unaltered in its composition during preparation and preservation. Fruit juices can be prepared from almost types of fruits. Ready to serve, RTS, this prepared from fruit juice. It contains minimum of 10% fruit and 10% sugars. It not diluted before serving. Fruit juice beverage, this is a fruit juice, which is considerably altered in composition before consumption. It may be diluted before it is served as a drink. Fermented fruit beverage, this is a fruit juice, which has undergone alcoholic fermentation by yeast. The product contains varying amounts of alcohol. Grape wine. Fruit juice. 178. Apple ciders, berry wines etc. are typical examples of this kind of beverages. Squash. This consists essentially of strained juice containing moderate quantity of fruit pulp to which sugar is added for sweetening. Fruit squash can be prepared from mango, lemon, orange etc. Cordial. Sparkling, clear, sweetened fruit juice from which all the pulp and other suspended materials have been completely eliminated, e.g. lime juice cordial, guava. Sherbet or syrup. Clear sugar syrup, which has been artificially flavored. Fruit juice concentrate. Fruit juice, which has been concentrated by the removal of water either by heat or freezing. Carbonated beverages and other products can be made from this. Fruit juice powder. Fruit juice which has been converted into a free-flowing, highly hygroscopic powder to which natural fruit flavor in powder form is incorporated to compensate for any loss of flavor in concentration, dehydration. Freeze-dried fruit juice powders makes the best quality products. The powders are reconstituted to yield readily full strength, full fruit, fruit juice drinks. Preparation. Fruit juices have their best taste, aroma and color when they are freshly extracted and used for product making. The important steps in beverage making are selection and preparation of fruits, extraction of juice, the aeration, straining, filtration, clarification and preservation. 
Jam Jam is a concentrated fruit pulp, possessing a fairly heavy body and rich in natural fruit flavor. Pectin in the fruit gives it a good set and high amount of sugars, more than 68.5%. Facilities its preservation. It is prepared by boiling the fruit pulp and juice with sufficient quantity of sugar to get thick consistency. A good jam must have bright color, rich typical fruit flavor, stiff but should not be sticky or crystallization of sugar. Apple jam, pineapple jam, and mixed fruit jam are common in the market. Fruit squashes. Marmalade. Apricot butter. 179. Basic agriculture. Jelly it is a semi-solid product prepared by concentrating essentially a clear fruit extract with sugar. In jelly making, pectin is the most essential constituent. Good jelly should be transparent, attractive in color, give strong flavor of the fruit and firm enough to retain a sharp edge when cut. Pectin from cell wall of fruit sugar, acid and water combine together when cooked to form jelly. Guava jelly is very popular in all parts of the world. Marmalade it is usually made from citrus fruits and consists of jellies or jam of the concerned fruit containing shreds of peel suspended in them. Usually citrus peel is used for making shreds in marmalade. Fruit butter, cheese and toffee's fruit butter, it is a thick product but soft enough to spread easily. The butter can be prepared from any fruit, but most commonly used fruits are apple, pear, plum, peaches, apricot and grapes. Fruit cheese, this product is commonly prepared from fruits like guava, apple and pear. Fruit toffee, it is prepared by using fruit pulp, sugar, glucose, skim milk powder, butter and essence. Preserves, murabbas, and candies preserves, murabbas, it is a matured whole or in large pieces of fruit in which sugar is impregnated till it becomes tender and transparent. It retains the shape of the fruit and does not break or pulp. The preserve should have enough sugar, more than 68% TSS. Murabba can be prepared from amla, apple, mango, peta, grapes, muskmelon, and watermelon. Candy fruit, a fruit impregnated with sugar, drained and dried is named as candy fruit. They are not sticky and are plump, tender and exceedingly sweet with high flavor. Glazed fruit, a candy fruit dipped for a moment in boiling syrup to impart a glossy finish to it, drained and dried is called glazed fruit. Crystallized fruit, candy fruit drained, dried and rolled in crystal sugar is called a crystallized fruit. Fruit cheese, murabba of onla, glazed fruit candy, 180. Fermented products wine, wine is made by fermenting grape juice with the help of yeasts. Wine can also be prepared by fermentation of other fruit juices such as mango, pineapple, guava, plum, kiwi, apple etc, which will be referred to as wine of that specific fruits, mango wine, pineapple wine etc. Wine represents a non-toxic healthful beverage, which provides calories, vitamins, minerals and other nutrients. Vinegar, the product made from carbohydrates obtained from different fruits by acetic acid fermentation is called vinegar. It can be manufactured as a by-product from the pomace after extracting the juice from fruits. Fruit vinegars will have a unique flavor of the fruits used. Vinegar can be made from apple, grape or other fruits. Vinegar should have at least 5 grams acetic acid per 100 grams. Pickles and chutneys pickles, the preservation of food in common salt or vinegar is called pickling. Spices and oil may also be added in pickles. Pickles are good appetizer aid to digestion and add to the palatability of the meal. In oil pickles, oil provides protection against outside infection. In other pickles, 15-20% to common salt is added to prevent spoilage caused by microbes. Molds and even lactic acid forming bacteria do not grow at this high salt concentration, as a result, pickle remains safe for several months. Chutneys, in general, hot and sweet chutneys are relished by all. Mostly acidic fruits are employed for preparing chutneys. A good chutney is smooth and has a mellow flavor and is spicy. Chutney is mostly prepared from mango. Dried products of fruits it is an oldest and cheapest form of preservation of fruits. Drying can be carried out either in sun or by artificial heat, dehydration. Sun drying is practiced in tropical and subtropical regions where there is plenty of sunshine. However, nowadays, drying is done by mechanical dryers because of faster rate of drying and hygiene. Several fruits are used in dry form. Wine. Cider. Vinegar. World famous pachanga pickle. Anadana. Amcha. 181. Basic agriculture. Anadana. It is a form of dried sour pomegranate arils used as a souring agent in food preparations. Anadana is prepared from a special wild form of pomegranate, which are highly acidic. Amcha. It is a product obtained by powdering dry and ripe mango pieces of sour nature. It is used as a souring agent in food preparations. Fruit bar. Fruit bar can be prepared from the pulp extracted from fully ripe fruits. Fruit pulp dried with suitable quantity of sugar and citric acid along with specified level of chemical preservatives. This product is called as intermediate fruit product, but commonly called as leather, papar in our country. Terrarium preparation. The science of making garden in small glass container is known as terrarium or a terrarium is a collection of plants growing in a glass enclosed container. The glass walls allow light to reach the plants and give protection from dust, drafts, and temperature changes. The plants usually used are ones that require a high amount of moisture. Therefore, the terrarium is set up to provide a highly humid atmosphere, which means that the air contains a lot of water. Plants give off water from their leaves in the form of gaseous water vapor. When air in the container comes in contact with the cooler glass walls, the water vapor condenses or becomes liquid. This water runs down the sides of the container and soaks into the soil on the bottom. The water is then available for the plants to take up through their roots. Plants use small plants that grow slowly. Plants should fill the container but not crowd it. House plants, English ivy, small ferns, philodendron, begonias, small leaves. Woodland plants, reindeer lichen, small ferns, mosses, partridge berry, ground cedar. Apple leather. A sketch of terrarium. Leg. Soil. Moss. Gravel and charcoal. 1 a 2. Ornamental fish farming. The growing of colorful and fancy fishes is known as ornamental fish farming. The growing interest in aquarium fishes has resulted in steady increase in aquarium fish trade globally. Ornamental fish culture is becoming a source of income day by day for the rural people. The ornamental fish trade with a turnover of US $6 billion and an annual growth rate of 8% offers lot of scope for development. India's share in ornamental fish trade is estimated to be less than 1% of the global trade. Goldfish is the most common and preferred fish because of its very coloration and morphological characteristics and the common breeds being grown are comet, lionhead, oranda, fringe tail, whale tail, fan tail, telescopic eye. Development of culture technologies is the major answer to a long-term sustainable trade of ornamental fishes. The areas adjacent to the metropolitan cities like Kolkata, Chennai, Mumbai have become major breeding centers for the freshwater ornamental fishes due to the ready urban market and access to export business. In recent years, breeding units for ornamental fishes have been established in states like Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, Orissa and Bihar. Exercises. Active.